Hi everybody, this is Julie Cayley, broker owner here at Merced Homes Realty. We are located at 920 West 18th Street here in Merced. And again, my name is Julie Cayley and I'm the broker here and my license number is 01412616. So I just wanted to do a quick recording for everybody regarding HUD Homes and how to navigate HUD Home Store. Uh, we have been a listing brokers for HUD in the Merced County and Mariposa County areas for the last 10 years or so. And we've kind of seen the inventory go up and down. Um, and part of our job with uh, working with HUD and BLB Resources, their asset management company, is to provide education to the real estate community and to the general public about how um, HUD works in terms of buying a property that is HUD owned. So that is my goal today is to share some great information with you if you're a buyer, a real estate agent, or a lender regarding HUD homes. So the inventory kind of goes up and down with HUD and right now we actually do have a few HUD homes in our local inventory. So we're starting to see um, a, uh, a lot of buyers and agents call us asking us um, how how HUD homes work and kind of what that process looks like. So I thought the best thing to do today would be to jump on to the HUD Home Store website. And if you navigate to it, it's HUD, which is H-U-D, home, H-O-M-E, store, S-T-O-R-E, dot com. And that's the screen, uh, screen I'm on right now. So if you go to that screen, it should look just like this here. And I want to show you from... Um, the consumer or the shopper's point of view and the real estate agent's point of view of where you can find different information. So first of all, I'm on this and we have a few different ways to search. So I'll tell you one thing is HUD has made their website, HUD Home Store, very user-friendly and navigable. There's um, a couple different ways to search for properties. So the first way would be um, to come to whatever state you're looking on and click on it. So in my area, I'm in Central California. I'm going to click on California. And then as you see, it's going to pull up everything that's in California. So right now we see that there are 43 active HUD homes in the state of California. So as you all know, California is a very large area, right? So um, typically if you're looking for a home, you're not going to just search the entire state, okay? So I work in Merced County, so I'm going to type in Merced and take a look at what those uh, results bring us. So I type in Merced under county and I go right back here to search and it is going to pull up the two available HUD homes in Merced County. So number one, we're really excited to have some HUD inventory and number two, uh, we've actually got two active listings with HUD right now and these are both of them. The first one is this one here, 10162 North Merced Avenue in Delhi. It is a three bedroom, two bath priced at 258,000. Um, that came on the market last week. We had an open house last weekend and uh, we are still in the holding period for bids. The second one, 1350 Redwood Avenue, uh, is located in Atwater, California, and it is a three bedroom, two bathroom, also listed on the market for 213,000, and we're actually holding that one open this week, this weekend, excuse me, on Saturday from one to three, and we just put that one on the market um, uh, two days ago, so that one is brand, brand new to the market. Uh, they're both great properties, and uh, we would expect both of them to sell fairly quickly um, in our market. So I uh, just wanted you to be able to see how to search, but now I'm actually going to click on one of these blue links here, which has the FHA case number, so I can kind of show you around the property so you can uh, know where to find things. So I'll just start with this one here in Atwater. So I'm going to click on it, right? So I just clicked on that blue link. And I want to show you all the information that you can find on HUDHomeStore.com, okay? So, again, it's going to be scrolling through the different photos right here in this box, okay? But uh, up here we have the FHA case number. Then we have something right here called eligible bidders, okay? So, when a HUD home first gets just listed on the market, 
they determine what type of insurability it is. If it can be purchased with FHA financing, HUD um, does a special period where they will sell to owner occupants, nonprofits, and government agencies only, meaning that an investor cannot purchase this home during that time frame. And that's the time frame we're in with this particular property. So when we look here and we see eligible bidders, that's who can make an offer on this property right now. Okay, right under that, you'll see this bid submission deadline. So that's when this first round of offers has to be submitted. March 7th, 2019 by 11.59.59 p.m. Central Time. So just before midnight Central Time, you need to have that offer in. There are seven days, seven hours, and 17 minutes remaining in that bid uh, window. Okay, so down here, um, we also have these tabs that run horizontally to give us differ different information about the property. So we're on the property info tag tab right now. And like I said, it's scrolling through these different photos. Here under property info, it's got the address, the county, the bed and bath count, square footage, year built, single family home, lot size, etc. Over here on the listing side, Okay, it's got the listing date. It's got the listing period that we're in, which is that exclusive that I was just talking about. It's got the period deadline, which is different than the bid deadline. It's got the list price. It's got the insurability, i.e. meaning insured escrow, that it can go FHA with a um, escrow holdback. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. It is eligible for 203K financing. So 203K is a type of FHA loan that is used for rehab of a property. And there are just a couple of caveats here, subject to an FHA appraisal, and buyer selects the closing agent or firm or in our area title company. When we come over here to amenities, we see that it's got um, a two-car garage and a crawl space. Uh, it's a type of foundation, so it's got a raised foundation. If we come over here to the addendums, there's a whole bunch of information that HUD lists for us here. And remember, this is all accessible to anybody. So not just real estate agents, not just lenders, but you as the buyer as well, the general public can come in here and view this information. So these are the ones that I want you to particularly uh, pay attention to. There's some lead-based paint information. There's information on different HUD programs. But this one right here that says Disclosure PCR, let's go ahead and click on that. And let me see if I can bring that up to share with everybody. Oh, okay, perfect. So this is the listing disclosure and repair statement that is associated with this particular property. So again, it's got the case number, the address, that IE insurable both escrow. So here's what HUD is telling us about this property, that number one, it's not located in a flood hazard area, but has listed as moderate to low flood risk, which is good news. So that means it typically will not require flood insurance. Um, it also gives some information about carbon monoxide detectors, uh, which is very important. But down here under repairs, this is what we're referring to when we talk about that um, escrow holdback. These are the repairs that have been identified up front by um, HUD that need to be done to the property in order for it to pass FHA loan. HUD does not repair any properties and they do not allow the buyer to repair properties. So something that is very unique to HUD owned properties is they have a caveat within FHA financing for HUD homes which allows a buyer to do what's called an escrow holdback. And these are the items that were called out. Number one, the rear patio has some roof water damage. And number two, install auto closing hinges on the firewall door to the garage. So that's it. So what would happen is when a buyer goes into escrow, they're going to get a new appraisal. These items are going to be called out. There might be another additional item or two. We don't know until we get there. Buyer's going to get a contractor bid to address these issues. Bid comes in. Whatever that bid is, the lender typically adds 10% to it. And that money gets held back. The escrow closes. The repairs do not have to be done prior to closing, which is 
huge, right? That's different than a regular retail FHA transaction. Buyer can close on the property, contractor comes in, does the repairs, inspector or appraiser comes back out, reinspects, reports it to the lender, lender releases those funds to the contractor, and you're done. The buyer um, takes possession of the property right when it closes, so there's no delay. So it's a really great workaround for um, HUD homes, and I can tell you the majority of our HUD homes are sold that way. They're sold with FHA financing with a um, escrow holdback. So it's a really important, and I know it's kind of a new concept to people out there uh, because it's not that common um, on a regular real estate transaction, but it's totally doable. We just have to make sure your lender's on board to begin with, and that's why we like to speak with the lender up front as well so that they understand how to go in there and set up that escrow holdback. So again, a really great option, saves a lot of time and frustration for waiting for repairs to get done. That is a buyer-funded escrow holdback, and um, some lenders will allow the buyer to bring in the funds, and others will um, also allow them to finance it in. So there are a couple options of how they can handle it as well. Okay. So to me, that's the most important document on here. There's lots of other documents and information that um, a potential buyer or agent can read through as well. The next tab horizontally is the maps tab. And if you come over here to the maps tab, um, it's just a, a Google map as you can see, and it shows you where the property is located within that map. And uh, the local amenity is like, this is near the bowling alley in this major road of Bellevue. If you wanted to get instructions, you can put in your address, type it in, hit get directions, and it would send it to you. And then if we want to do the, um, oh, I was going to try to do the street view, but it sounds like it doesn't, oh, let's see. Oh, there we go. There's our Google Street View. So if we turn around a little bit, we can um, take a look at the street and the neighborhood and kind of see what it looks like here. Um, and this is actually the side street. So we can, um, I must not have dragged the person right on the exact same spot. But anyways, you get the idea. I'm sure you've been on Google Maps before. So the next tab um, after Maps oops, I clicked the wrong way, is um, agent info. So this next tab goes over the agents that are in charge of this property or um, asset manager. So over here on the left-hand side, we have the asset management company. And in this case for California, the asset manager is called BLB Resources, B as in boy, L as in Larry, B as in boy resources. And it's got their um, contact information, name, phone number, email, website, etc. Um, it's also got the listing agent's information over here, listing broker, and as you see, this is my information. It's got my uh, corporate name, my name, my address, my phone number, my fax number, and my email. And then down below, we have what's called the FSM or Field Service Manager contact info. So that is um, the company that's in charge of uh, maintaining the property, mowing the lawn, doing the winterizing, that type of stuff. So um, if you ever needed to get in contact with any one of those, you could just come to this agent info tab, click on it. My suggestion would be always start with the listing broker. They can probably um, help you. And if not, they can um, facilitate the request to the appropriate response. So that would be my suggestion is to always start with that listing broker. Okay. You can also print a flyer from here as well. So really lots of great information is available. If you are an agent and you um, found a property that your client wants to make an offer on, let's say it's this one here on Redwood. I'm just going to show you how easy that is as well. I'm assuming you've already signed up and you have an account, right? So you can just click on here, HUD registered bidder, submit an offer. Okay, you would then just put in, uh, verify the information. Okay, you would um, select who you are, a selling broker, put in your name and your license number, and then it just walks you through literally another screen or two where you put in all of your client's information. You hit submit, and then your offer is submitted to HUD, and you get a confirmation number as well. So... I just always like to go over that with you just to really show you how easy it really is. So anyways, I hope you found this information helpful. If you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My, again, my name is Julie Cayley and my phone number is 
385-1200. Thank you and hope you have a great day.